Hi, my name is Blanche Axton and I'm the president of the board of directors of Pugalog Pug Rescue and I also coordinate our fostering program. And we take in pugs who, for various reasons, need to find another home. This is one of our former foster girls. This is Peggy. Um, many of our animals come from uh, family situations where, for various reasons, people can no longer um, look after their pugs. Some of our dogs come from shelters. Um, we're a breed-specific rescue, although we do take in pug mixes. Um, we operate entirely through donations, fundraising, and all of the people who um, work for Pugalug are volunteers. We're always in need of volunteers who are interested in doing fostering, helping us at events like this one, Wolfstock, coming to our Pugalugs, um, and helping us with fundraising and generating more income for the vet costs of our dogs. Um, we love pugs for lots of reasons, um, but they do tend to have some health issues and they tend to be costly ones. So fundraising and donations are always a priority for us. The outstanding characteristic of the pugs for me, besides their unbelievably cute faces, is they have fabulous temperaments. They are dogs who want to be with their people and they were always only ever bred to be companion animals um, and they excel on lounging on laps, resting on sofas and being with their people. If you're interested in helping out Pugalug Pug Rescue, our website is www.pugalug.com and there's lots of information about the breed, um, information about ways in which you can help and you can follow the stories of our uh, foster pugs and how they're doing in care and apply for the ones who are ready to be adopted. We have some dogs who are older, um, some who have some health challenges, who don't get a lot of applications. So don't overlook the older dog just because of age. Don't overlook the blind dog just because they don't see. They make fabulous uh, pets and good friends. I had my girl here today who's eyeless and 15 years old and she's still a going concern. So don't be scared off by age and disability, although blindness is not much of a disability for dogs. Thank you very much.